everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today we return Poison Girls, ladies and gentlemen, as I have your fan pick fantastic day of the most amazing variety. Today we are back, and today is the time for us to head on over and get this floppy disk redeemed, along with a couple of these tickets as well. And we uh, are a simple blind on away from a raid, and oh yeah, we still need to wrap up the very last revenge raid that we went on. So today's gonna be a it's gonna be a pretty eventful day, you know. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the bucket code we are going to be needing for today's course of events that code at the time of me recording this is going to be 31880 if that's out of date by the time you're trying to use it make sure to check that comment section down below for an up-to-date version brought to you by the fan freaking size community here at the sniper gang so without further ado i'd say we're pretty kitted out i'd say we're pretty ready to go so let's go ahead and start heading over to the bunker and oh yeah boom what you guys are seeing right here right now is actually posted earlier today by kafir and this is actually one of the first initial detailed concepts of the up and coming police station so this is actually an awesome document because it will it's actually giving us a lot more information about what to expect from the police station now there is the chance where some of these things may have changed ever since this initial concept art was released but it is currently the best thing we have to kind of like look at and get a general clue from so without further ado let's go ahead and do exactly that let's just go ahead and start from left to right top to bottom so at the very very top left you guys can see some notes saying needs more mass more details and then it kind of points to this, this thing saying like more than this so what that is pointing to is this terminal that says the number two meaning in some way shape or form it appears we're going to be able to get into that courtyard type area from the outside and we're gonna have to open up that terminal which should be opening up the doors to the inside of the police station because it wouldn't make sense for us to be able to go in from the inside to go outside to that because it looks like the terminals on like the exterior so i'm not really sure i would be able to open that door otherwise but it appears that they do want it to be bulkier and then it's pointing towards this uh giant electrical out like i don't even know what to call it, like an electrical power generator type of thing like that so i think that the terminal they want they want it to be bigger or something like that and if we also look at the courtyard we can see that they are asking for more details so that is one thing that they do want to change over there as well if we go ahead and look on the left of the police station we can see a variety of things as well including a couple of the rooms where they are saying to start detailing these rooms so unfortunately we do not really have a clue about what those rooms will contain but if we look on over into that kind of more general hallway over on that left part of the police station we can see a variety of desks and that is what probably will be kind of like the detective slash inspector type of area something like that where like you know police officers would like be on their computers like investigating stuff that's about the best idea you guys can also see like the freaking a little water fountain that they have kind of like near the northern uh desks over in that kind of like little desk vicinity area so uh, they're staying hydrated that's good and then if we head on over kind of like a little bit more south towards that south end of the police station we are seeing a bunch of arrows uh, pointing towards this question mark saying black port question mark now i'm not entirely sure what that black port idea could be if any of you guys might know please feel free to spread some information down below but if we continue on with that mysterious little blackboard thing and continue heading on over to the right we can see a room that as well is going to be in need of details but then if we continue going to the right from that need detail room we can see that we arrive at the front entrance or what appears to be the front entrance to the police station and within the front entrance if you take a little bit of a right you can see what a appears to be a little bit of a crate dispensal unit or something like that by all accounts it it really does appear because like we're seeing the conveyor belt we're seeing like the little doorway and we're seeing what appears to be some kind of terminal and then the number one which kind of circles back to the number two we saw over in that like outside exterior courtyard type of area which is kind of interesting to take note of i'm seriously interested what in tarnation they're gonna be thinking of doing over there but back on topic back onto that terminal that says number one we can see that it's kind of at least as of this sketch it may have been changed because it does have the note repetitive and then a not very amused emoji so i'm guessing that maybe 
maybe whoever was like taking notes on this initial concept was like yeah maybe this might get changed so potentially it will be changed and i think given just kind of the note that it is i do think that they changed up something but it does appear that they did want some sort of reward system to be present in the police station so hopefully that's going to be replaced by something else that will be giving us super dope rewards but if not it is very cool that there is going to be such a location such a such a part of the police station where we might be able to like collect all these different parts and subsequently get a crate to come out and hopefully that crate will be having a variety of very good stuff for us because uh i could definitely get a little bit behind that but if we go through the front entrance and then go through those next set of doors we are met at that kind of like central hall where we could take a left or you take a right we've gone over the stuff over on the left so why don't we head on over to the right now there is that locked room over in the right area initially where the uh, conveyor belt is actually coming from i'm guessing that would most likely stay just kind of like mysterious because that's kind of like the origination of the crates but again that might be subject to change since it does appear that they do want to change how that crate system is going to be working but then this is where the juiciness begins this little northern section of the police station is very interesting so we already went over that kind of second weird terminal that's saying it needs more mass and more detail that is honestly a pure mystery to me but you know it isn't a mystery all of that stuff in the upper right hand corner and what it's pointing from so you guys can actually go ahead and look at the concept art you guys can see a variety of white lines that appears to be denoting where they want a variety of separate holding cells so this is actually kind of similar to the gameplay preview that we saw of last day on earth and uh, it does appear as we were kind of like as was being hinted towards in the past it does appear that these cells are actually going to be open on we will be able to enter them but as of this concept art which is again like relatively initial and a lot of things may have changed since then but nonetheless still a relatively good idea and good thing to base things off of it does appear that they are aiming to have five to seven holding cells total with single and or double beds depending on the holding cell but they want a special type of item to be lootable and that is a brand new key item that is able to open any cell door meaning and by the way that they seem to be pointing towards it i think they want the reward system to actually kind of gravitate more towards that holding cell area and uh, instead of us having to like get tickets for that conveyor belt over at the beginning right i think what they are attempting to push us towards is something a little bit more like we have to like kill zombies throughout our potential like loot the left part of the base right and try to find these keys which we can then utilize to unlock a variety of holding cells whatever the final number ends up being it looks like they're aiming for five to seven so maybe we'll be able to open up all them maybe you only get enough keys to pick and choose but i think that that is where interesting things will be happening because they will be containing prisoner zombies within that is confirmed we have seen a video gameplay clip of that but we haven't necessarily seen loot inside so i think that's where things get really interesting and that is also where uh I, maybe that's where we'll be getting some of the blueprints man because remember that is what they want some of the best stuff the police station to have they wanted to be dropping those weapon parts they wanted to be dropping gun blueprints and potentially dropping that winchester and hopefully a ton of mods for that because i definitely want to be all over that but then if we follow that hallway all the way to the end there's what appears to be some sort of end room with just the simple notes details and with that we have the details for the police station as of one of the initial concept arts so not necessarily the final version but still what was a building block and what was most likely expanded upon and changed a little bit still a very cool thing to have a relatively rough idea of but that is gonna go and wrap it up for the information we have had to shed today can't wait to hear what y'all gotta say about it in that comment section down below with that be you guys own original thoughts you guys have thoughts on my thoughts any of that type of jazz and remind the concert for the other way it's looking to our dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do is watch make sure like button make sure you subscribe so that's where you went on today's video y'all go to turn out every single last year video when said it was our pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be for the week and we'll kick off if we give it that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as soon as it's coming out so i can make sure it blesses your eyeballs and earballs and whatnot all the latest of last day on earth gameplay especially that new update because update 1.9.6 with this juice delicious police station i need it in my life you guys need it in my life and i want to check it out to the absolute max i want to get the winchester that it's going to have
have. I want to get all those blueprints. I want all the weapon parts. I want it all, man. And you know we're going to be going over there, kitted, checking out what it has. And hopefully, by watching my video, you guys will be a little bit more prepared when you yourselves decide to dive into the action. And of course, all the other dope survival games we are checking out on the channel as well. So all in all, subscribing that notification bell does appear to be a pretty safe investment, if you ask me. So uh, make sure you go ahead and do that and make sure that I go ahead. Let's toss this floppy disk on over here. Let's activate hard mode because the blind one, he needs to fall today. So just go ahead and activate that protocol and let's get to heading on over to this area. We got the green yellow, uh, we got the green tickets, we got the yellow tickets. So let's open up and dead both of them. And let's see the contents of these crates before we dive on down under to give uh, the blind one a little bit of shotgun rain. He's been a couple of days since he's had that. Okay, nothing too nutty. No, no engine parts, unfortunately, but definitely a couple of, couple of all right things. We got a nice variety of food here: jerky, beans, and grilled steak. Mm -mm -mm. Let's talk about delicioso. What about? Oh, let's freaking go, boys! Double shotgun rain. That's something I could get behind. Oh, thank you, thank you kindly, game. I'll go ahead and grab some of these medkits because we're definitely going to be utilizing them. Maybe the band-aids as well. Definitely the gas. And what's our SWAT armor at? Ooh, our SWAT armor is at full durability. I ain't in no rush to swap out for some of this uh, tactical armor. I'm ready to go ahead and to do a number down on floor three. And I hope that you guys are as well. To get apologies if things are sounding a little bit different. Still trying to kind of like fully get into the flow of being into school. I am I am so dreading, dude, this week. All Just going to all of the first days of classes. That is going to... It's about to be a huge struggle. I've, I've been looking through some of the websites for some of the classes, man, for, for college this year. And... Ah, let me just say, there are definitely going to be some rough classes up in this semester, but that is never going to get in the way of me and delivering some fan for fantasticness to all you boys and girls. But for real, 1.9.6, especially seeing that concept art that we saw today, dude, that just getting me mo and mo all aboard the hype train. I want to see what the police station has. I want to explore it with you guys, and I want to make sure that you guys are prepared for it when the time does come. But for now, the only thing that needs preparation is my buddy, the blind one, because the blind one is, uh, well, I, I don't know, am I about to go blind him? Maybe, he's, he's already pretty blind, but you never know, a couple of well-placed bullets over in the eye holes, and he'll never see again, even though, again, he is already blind, but you know what, he'll be double blinded. Hopefully that doesn't work like math, where like a double negative equals a positive, because if the blind one can see, dude, just imagine how much more horrifying he would become. That almost ended up very poorly for us, but we got a couple of parasites up on us. Let's deal with them properly with a little bit of the pistol drizzle. Hello, parasites. Goodbye, parasites. Thank you for coming to play. You just weren't meant to win it. Uh, let's go ahead and do a couple of band-aids here. Heal up all the way to full. Maybe I should eat some food. But so be it. You know, I do what I wanted today. That's what I wanted to do. And ooh, looks like I won't be able to kill the turret today. And dude, oh my god, we have so much shotgun. I wasn't expecting a double shotgun from the yellow ticket crate. But today was a good day, I suppose. I would go after that, but I don't have any weapon with enough range to actually take down that turret. Currently, the pistols. Eh. The shotguns, <laughs> and I, I'm not exactly trying to get lit up by that thing. So I do this. I do have the SWAT armor that I'm trying to keep relatively pristine. So let's continue. Uh, just pooping all over these toxic spinners. Oh my God, are you kidding me? That guy had one health when he just when my guy decided to start shooting the other one. Come on, man. Someone's got one health. At least finish the job because it's gonna make my life a little like. See, that's what I mean. Just continue shooting one person. Come on, come on. There we go. Let's finish off the first dude. We got a couple more to go and bada bing. Bada boom. See you later, uh, toxic spitters. Let's get through all of this gas. Let's avoid the Jesus out of that turret. Ain't trying to trigger that and have that thing starting to mow us down. All that I'd like to do is have a little bit of bandage. And why don't we eat up a little bit of jerky? 109 health seems good enough to me. Just like all this shotgun rain. Hopefully this is good enough for my buddy, the blind one. Because, uh, oh, blind one. Do you hear that? That's me putting in the codes to your death. I'm sorry. It's that it's that time of the week. I know this time comes multiple times, but I'm so sorry, blind one. You know, if you didn't have such great loot on you, maybe I could give you a pass, but the loot that you contain is simply too good. It's a pass up. And uh, also the Raiders will give me another raid if I do this to you. So I'm so sorry about this blind one. Maybe we could have been friends another 
the med chick. Can I get some critical hits here? There we go. Jesus, I was about to be like, wow, straight up no criticals for my shotgun rain. Luckily, though, that was corrected and the criticals, they uh, they did come. So go ahead, keep on charging. Oh, keep on shotgun raining all over you. Blind one, he's probably going to want to heal here in just a jiff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what a bummer. I cut you off in the middle of your meal. Mm, sorry about that, blind one, but that's what you get. For what? For the police station not being out yet, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of shooting you too. Okay, I want to go to the police station and shoot some zombies there, but alas, uh, here we are. Both of us uh, not exactly in the most ideal situations. I, I don't think the blind one likes getting shot at either. He probably just wants to eat his meat in peace, you know? But uh, I can't let that be. I can't let that happen. That's a no-fly zone, so sorry. It's a shotgun rain. A healthy servant of it over here on the menu, Mr. Blind One. All right, you want to go and heal? No, no, no. Oh, I let you get a little taste, a little bit of a sneaky snack. But if all goes well, we should be able to finish him off in this volley. Let's just cross our fingers that we can get a couple of those critical hits we oh so require and oh so desire. Blind one. This could be it. Oh, I already got one. To oh, let's go. Let's go. Shotgun rain to you, blind one. Oh, thank you for the big bones to my man. He's my type of man today. But there we have it. That should be unlocking another raid. But before we even start to think about that first raid, we need to go with that floppy disk. And we need to get our hands on some C4 because we currently have access to a revenge raid. But this is not any revenge raid. This is a spoopy looking revenge raid. This is a raid that by all looks and purposes, man, it, oh, we got some stuff over in this guy. I forgot to loot him because he blew up and I kind of panicked because I only had my shotgun out. Had to go swap out to the pistol. But yeah, uh, that raid, that revenge raid we got lined up from last time. It was a very, very big stone base and we need to go and finish and see what in tarnation's going on in there because it's, it's gotta have some loot. I mean, come on, what type of a giant stone base like that doesn't have loot? I really hope that I choose the right places to C4 into as well, because uh, I would uh, I would enjoy getting as much stuff as I can, because that, dude, I'm telling you, this is a raid that could have a floppy disk, and uh, whenever there's a floppy disk potentially at stake, I'm crossing my fingers harder than ever before. But with that said, and with that done, that is enough of the bunker folks today. Let's head on back and let's begin moving on over to another type of place. What place is that, you might ask? Ooh, thank you for asking, my friends. Today, when you go over to that floppy disk place and uh, hopefully get some of that good stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, the chopper is over here, ready to get to driving. I got a little bit of gas as well. All right, we'll just stack that all up. Plenty of room in the chopper as well. I think we do have the one C4 over there, so hopefully we can bring that total up to three, but every floppy disk I've opened has had two C4 within it, so I don't think that's going to change today. And ooh, there's an airdrop along the way. At the same time, though, my man, that airdrop has like an hour left on it. I could just go to that airdrop a little bit later. I, this thing has 12 hours, so using my logic, it doesn't matter. But no, this is where the good stuff is. And that is what I want to loot the bejesus of, Mr. Mr. Forrest, whatever might be inside of you. Although I, I already know what it is. It's either an infected crate or a normal crate. I am really, really, really crossing my fingers that it's going to be a normal crate because infected crates mean we have to organize our abomination of an acid bath and... As history goes to show, that is pretty much a glorified giant chest. So let's hope we can go ahead and change things up a little bit today. <gasps> let's freaking go, boys. We got a totally normal looking crate. Bada boom, bada bang. What you got within? Ooh, it just gets better with each and every second. We got a VSS, we got an M16, a couple of C4. Let's definitely not forget the engine part, the components, the copper, and ooh. Let's not forget that we got all of this room over in here as well. Definitely the C4 that's going over there. Uh, but then that frees up a couple more slots. We can go ahead and grab more at once. We will come back for the rest of that over into my free time. But for now, the more important thing is uh, ooh, a little bit more gas too. We can get that stacking on up over there at the chopper. And uh, definitely some copper, that's good. Definitely grab that, stack that up. Stack it up, stack it up, a little bit more gun oil, and it's sent up those. Um, I'm gonna leave these two band-aids behind, just pick up the car air filter instead and all along. I'm pretty happy with that output. Hopefully, 
yeah boys and girls are as well let's get back on the chopper and uh let's uh, start heading on home we gotta go ahead and reorganize our inventory it's raiding time and if we could just go ahead and grab the rest of the hatchets that we put away over at the beginning so we could make a room for all of the goodies we we're gonna pick up i would say uh, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls we are in param raid in position raiders no worries i'll talk to you guys but first things first this might be a raid we gotta go and put this away really quickly but this might end up being a raid that actually takes up every single c4 we need so I'm, i just don't want to commit to these raiders quite yet uh we should be able to hopefully get some more hard mode c4 if not i should be able to hopefully look through some red zones in my free time and try to acquire some c4 but those are some all things that we are going to be attempting to do let me find a home for this Ooh, right there over in the multiple stacks of electronic circuits so uh without further ado let's just remodify these things so they are in prime raiding configuration which is just switching that site over to that one and that's the one that i was in switch because technically this site isn't as good but i mean for all intents and purposes of a raid we definitely want to have it in this configuration so with that said and with that done the time has come to drive to the raid oh quinton we have arrived so let's go ahead and just kind of refamiliar refamiliarize ourselves with the contents of this raid now what some of you guys were actually saying we should try and do with the c4 that we do have at our disposals that apparently from what i've been hearing we want to break in through this this little like indentation here and apparently supposedly here it will lead us to a room filled to the brim with loot i'm crossing my fingers that that's the case and i'm putting my faith in your boys and girls over in that comment section down below because uh well i love you i love you boys and girls and this could be it man is this this raid okay first off this is a raid that actually they took some stuff from us they took aluminum from us and my m16 i think i want some of that stuff back man but after that uh it's definitely a raid that has a lot of potential to give us more stuff as well so again i'm putting my faith in this i do believe you guys are onto something and i'm gonna be crossing my fingers that uh it is something good and not something uh something poopy so without further ado mr stonewall i am coming for you a uh, bada bing a uh, bada boom okay 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 all right from what i heard though i do think we need to go two in two layers deep so let's hope that that's the case let's go ahead and grab ourselves that second c4 uh, after this one is done there are going to be tons of hordes of enemies coming after us but luckily uh we do have some shotguns over here which are very primed for doing the doo-doo all over those they do a perfect 80 damage to any of the fast biters and uh what you call 240 health the health of the floater bloaters that's a multiple of 80 80 times 3 is 240 so these things will not waste a little bit of damage until the toxic abominations come into the equation so let's go ahead and go one more across our fingers please baby give me something good let's go boys this is what i like to see sorry that i can't get super hyper i think it's just like a little bit later in the day and uh well we are living in an apartment so as much as i'd love to scream from the top of my lungs i'm not sure oh my god all right peter you my guy i'm just not sure how logistically possible that will be uh this area on the other hand oh already a shotgun to boots today is going to be oh there's the final floater bloater you're taking your sweet oh Oh, well, he got the double shotgun rain, and he had some extra damage to spare, too. But, uh, this is the jackpot, I think. <laughs> Bless up to you guys. This is the type of stuff I wouldn't mind getting out of every raid. I'm going to go ahead and break into this because it appears to be the most different out of all these chests. All these other chests are totally different. And okie dokie does not appear to be that amazing. He does have a couple of pink chests. I think pink's a pretty hard color to paint, so I wonder if that one might have anything good. At the very least, I want to break into one of the pinks, probably one of the purples. But, uh, yeah, let's see what uh, Mr. Pink over here has. There's another chest over there in that corner that I'd like to explore. Hopefully, we can get a ton of stuff. Let's go. Already some. Oh, yo, we got some trunks, too. Dude, perfect. You know what we're going to be able to do with that stuff? Uh, deck out the base with hopefully a little bit more inventory room than ever before. Ooh, goodbye to your face, my uh, floater bloater. I'm sorry about that, bud. 
Well, do we have anything else over here? Anything good by chance? Yeah, we got a toxic abomination running our way. But here's the good news. It's taking these guys quite a while. Oh, my God. RIP to your legs. It's taking these guys quite a while to catch up to us. So hopefully, if we're lucky, it might take the big one when his time comes. A good amount of time to catch up to us as well. So far, we have not broken into amazing chests, but this one is formidable. It's definitely got some worthwhile stuff. Uh, but I, I'm hoping... That it gets better than that. So, obviously, there's what appears to be something. Some kind of chest over in that corner. It's hard to tell exactly what kind. There are more black chests as well. I kind of want to break through this one. The yellow one has me tempted because that's the only yellow one. So does the white one. Oh, me, oh, my. All right. Why don't we break through the white one? We're about halfway done in terms of noise. We should still have a good amount of chests to break through. Ooh, my God. As much as I love... Oh, my God. Hold on. We're starving. I don't love starving. I don't love starving. I don't love starving. As much as I love medical supplies, we already have a really good amount of those back at home. So, I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, that's a very deep red over there. Maybe that will be able to do us some good. And here's the thing. We have a lot of hatchets over here. I'm ready to break through a lot of this stuff. We have SWAT armor. We have a full stack of medkits. I'm ready to cheese the big one at the end of this raid. And hopefully end up walking out of here with quite a lot of stuff. All right, Mr. Red Chest, what you got in store for me? Are, are you the possessor, the owner of the goodies? Okie dokie. Formidable, respectable. I can take me an electronic crate, not crate, <laughs> an electronic circuit. I was looking at these crates when I said electronic. Uh, and a couple of red tickets. Can never go wrong with those. That one appears to be uncolored. Here's the thing. I wonder if any of these black ones might have guns because I think there might be a theme, right? Like, if you guys think about it, well, what'd the purple one have? Purple one had, like, random resources, so that might be what that one is. But people tend to, like, with all this coloring, I don't think it's random. I do think it's color-coded in some way, shape, or form. So what I'm believing it is, is maybe this one was poopier because this holds his melee weapons. And then the trunks maybe have the guns. So let's cross our fingers and hope that's the case. Please, baby, baby, no whammy, no whammy. Oh, well, I mean, that's some good melee weapons, but not the ones we were looking for. Here we got some more enemies coming our way. No worries, fast biters. I got plenty of shotgun rain awaiting your boys and girls, too. I'm just really hoping we come across something a little bit better because, uh, well, it's almost time for the big one to come. And when he comes, oh, all right, Peter, that's toxic abomination. When he comes, that's when uh, the real panic sets in. And, uh, oh, that's another thing, too. We probably want to go and drop off stuff over at a shotgun rain. To the abomination no uh, we want to drop off a couple of things over at the chopper since that does have three open slots at the time being yeah so let's capitalize on that and then we'll have a lot more inventory room to play with because especially as the big one continues to approach and approach uh the going is going to get a lot rougher and rougher so engine parts yeet 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 definitely the electronic circuit and i guess for now we're gonna put one of the trunks in there i don't know how much raiders value trunks but uh Hey, future proofing? <laughs> um, here's the thing, too. As we prepare for the big one, I kind of want to do it in a semi-orderly fashion. Now, what do I what do I mean when I say that? Uh, when I say that, what I'd like to do is maybe break through the rest of these chests, but then when I soften up all these chests, you know, I want to be able to like maybe go one by one and see what they have instead of like kind of randomly being spaced out. Because see, like we broke all of these random ones, so I want to like do it row by row. Uh, just kind of like break them all one by one and then run through really quickly check out their contents That might be kind of hard to do because we already did break this one But I'm just trying to like I'm trying to think of a system because there's so many chests here And I just want to leave some of these stones unturned, you know, like there really could be really good stuff here uh, So why don't we let's let's break through this chest. We're at 75 noise We should still have a little bit of playing room here in terms of the noise <gasps> Yo, thank you very kindly for those five steel plates and a 13 aluminium as well. <laughs> Let's definitely put that steel away because you know the raider is going to be thirsting for that. But uh, then comes the question. Okay, so this is good though. This means our chopper should be filled with pretty good loot for the most part. So we don't have to worry about filling the chopper anymore. What we got to worry about now is just uh, getting out of there alive and with the best of our stuff. So yeah, let's put the steel there. I'll leave the engine parts there, and worst case, I'm, I'm ready to bribe the raiders with some of that aluminium when the time does come, which is going to be pretty soon. We're already at, what, like 80-something noise? Yeah, bad times are, are very, very close to coming. Well, hopefully, there'll be good times for us because we're running out of here like freaking bandits with some weapons and good stuff, but um, if not, uh, it, it could be bad times. Uh, so I, 
I really want to break into this one in the corner, dude. It's such it's such a random chest to have in the corner, you know? But after this chest, this is when the system does need to... Wow. That was hot dog poop. <laughs> um, so what do we have here? We still got a couple more hatchets left with. Uh, we got nine noise to play with. I think this is when we start enlisting the system. So let's start softening up these chests. Three wax with the level one hatch is what we need for that stuff to be good. How many level one hatchets we got left? Okay, that was the last one. So now it's going to take two wax a pop. And we should have enough noise to soften up all these chests. But the important question is... Will we have enough time and or health and or timing to actually get the contents of each of these chests? That's an important question that hopefully we have an answer to. Uh, and here's the thing, too. With all these chests that we're breaking, as long as we have one hatchet left over, I think we should be good to break through all of them. Because they are all going to be requiring one chop for the final breakthrough to happen. Uh, we should have plenty of noise to make this happen, stress-free. And I think we're going to have plenty of hatchets as well. Okay, so this is coming up, Millhouse. But the very stressful part is coming up very, very shortly. My heart's already starting to pump, man. Start, well, I hope my heart's pumping, but it's starting to beat harder is what I was trying to say. Um, Okie dokie, here's where we absolutely have to blitz it. We got to break a chest, see what's within. Honestly, I might just try to break a poop ton of chests and maybe like do a lap around here. I don't... I don't entirely know how to do this. See, I know we can cheese the system a little bit because whenever we spawn back into here, we will spawn like whenever, like if we run out of the base is what I'm saying. Uh, when we come back in, I believe we spawn where our chopper is. So we might be able to use that to our advantage and actually kite the big one in a way. So uh, as long as we could, here's what I want to do. Let's uh, let's definitely see what's in these within these two chests. Play it by ear. We got the SWAT armor. We got the meds. Boys and girls. I'm going in. Wish me luck. Show me what you got. Show me. <gasps> Yo. Okay. 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 Oh my God. The big one's already here. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding? Okay. Nothing good in there. Nothing good in there. Let's dipski on out of here. We got those toxic abominations we got to deal with too. A shotgun raid to you, buddy. Old pals of mine. You ain't buddies though. Sorry about that. Uh, so here's what we want to do. I want to kite the big one over here. And then I'm going to want him to like chase us around because we're going to spawn in. Okay. Here's, here's the game plan. We're going to spawn in. I think where our motorcycle is so hopefully we can use that knowledge to kind of play like a giant game of ring around the rosy here with the blind one so we can maximize the hatchets we got and hopefully maximize the loot because dude this raid depending on what's in those chests this raid could be the best raid like we've ever had it's, oh let's let's cross our fingers for floppy disks first though we for the best raid to qualify as the best raid Definitely need some floppy disks, but as I was saying, yeah, check it out. We spawn right here, so I think he should be running around that way to try to catch up to us so we can use that to our advantage, run around this way, and hopefully break a couple more chests before he catches up to us. So using this system, it should definitely buy us some considerable time. Like, yeah, I'm not even seeing him coming around. Dude, let's get it, baby. I like the game plan. The game plans are working. Uh, I just need better loot from this stuff over here. Okay, that's just a poop ton of fur. Noted. Don't mind me. I'm um, getting the hell out of Dodge. And I'm going to try to run around this way. Yeah, so we can deal with the toxic abomination just so they can die really quickly. Oof. There we go. They did a little bit. Of, they did a number on us there. Big one's gonna continue chasing us though. Hopefully, this yeah, this kind of this thing you do where he won't exactly. Oh no! Oh no! Whoop! Okay, you gotta hit off on us there. <laughs> but it's kind of weird. Like if you sometimes the big one will kind of like stutter step by himself, and he won't melee us when we're when he's close enough. So that's kind of another thing that I do want to take advantage of. And okie dokie, artichokes. Ow! He got hit off on us there, but. Okay, we got him going out of bounds at a pretty prime position. Honestly, all that I'm trying to do is because we kind of like our motorcycles on like the east corner of the map. I'm trying to get him to spawn in on the west corner of the map, but a little bit kind of like north of the complete west corner because then he'll start running around the long way and we can use that because the big one will always be faster than us. So because of that, we can use that knowledge and uh, continue this little cycle that we're running. Although those toxic abominations might run into us so far though, it's, it's going good. And that entire room is still up for grabs, so I'm I'm crossing my fingers, dude, because this could be some good stuff coming our way, boys. I wish I could scream at the top of my lungs right now, man. I got so much hype built up in me. Ah! I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I just can't muster it. I can't. I can't. 
Although I really wish that I could. I just, I, I'm not trying to freaking wake up everybody because I, I don't know, dude. It's the first week of school. You know, I'm not trying to be super brutal already. What do we got over here? <gasps> Yo, okie dokie. I like what I'm seeing in there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm seeing in there. Okay, he's going to get a couple hits off on us. I'm going to take this opportunity. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's a dip out of there. What I'm talking about, but it's shocking raid to you. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's dip on out. Uh, he's doing a good amount of damage to us now. So we can just continue this cycle and come on, big one. Just right out of bounds, right over there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go ahead and give it another go. We still got about half of that room's worth of chests. So far, it appears we're able to break into a couple of chests before he ends up catching up to us. But I mean, the system's working. It gives us some ground to utilize so he's not just constantly wailing on us. But so uh, we do have a little bit of that breathing room and a little bit of time to kind of process what the chests have and capitalize upon it. I just wish, dude, I, I still wish there was that old event item that we could use to slow down enemies because when you could slow down the big one back in the day oof that was a kind of sort of the greatest thing ever imaginable what do we got over here oh my goodness gracious yeah okay i like what i'm seeing i like what i'm seeing what about this blue chest just a poop ton of swat armor okay 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 i'm gonna use that to my advantage how i don't know but i'm getting out of here we could go ahead and see you it's the toxic abomination and our inventory is filled to the brim with weapons so unless we find something really really good we're just gonna continue breaking through chests not even looking at them because i mean oh dude this raid is dope shouts out to everybody in that comment section down below who helped guide me in this because uh this guy's going pretty well we're down to our last hatchet too so we're really maximizing our inventory room and uh, it's going good it's definitely going good here's what i'm gonna do though that's definitely our weakest shotgun so if we find something good I'm game with swapping that shotgun out if it's for something with higher durability, you know? But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and eat all my steaks, too. Don't need to worry about that. I got plenty of medkits still. Dude, that's the thing. We have so many medkits left to mess around with, uh, whatchamacall? Like, the, seriously, using this strat, if utilized right and at the right type of base, it really lets us get a whole ton of distance between us and the big one. I, at some points, I probably call him the blind one, guys. I that's just dude, i'm sorry they're so close to each other dude the big one the blind one there's like about a th three letter difference between the two okay but i think you guys should know what i'm saying all right if i'm talking about any one it's probably the big one when we're in the middle of this raid uh, i didn't even check that pickup i'll maybe do that at some point excuse him while though i'm kind of on the hunt trying to find me some floppy disks or something like that and no that's just different types of armor the big one should be catching up to us super shortly okay so i'm gonna go ahead and break those two right there because oh he's gonna start doing something big big damage on us so we still just have to search the top left to oh no i gotta urinate soon oh that's not good that's not good that's not good no 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 no. that's not what i was looking forward to hearing um okay uh this is bad this could be really bad how mm. Okay, I think I know how we got to do this. <laughs> Why, dude? Why do you have to pee in the middle of this raid? Absolute worst timing, my man. This is... No. Bad. Bad. Oof. Um. Okay. I think here's what we're going to do. We are going to pee as soon as we enter the raid. And then we're going to do a giant lap again and leave the big one off where he was again because I refuse to risk the urination in the middle of us looting because if we start peeing, dude, we, we lose everything we worked for in this raid. So if I could just go ahead and there we go, just urinate barely outside the map, I could, I'm, I'm cool with that. Big one should be catching up to us soon. We'll, we'll hear the stampy McStamps. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude, he's coming at us with a vengeance. But we should be able to outpace him just a little bit. And usually, whenever, if you turn a corner really tightly, it kind of like throws him off. It did not throw him off there. Okay, that's bad news bears for us. He might get one more hit off on us. Okay, perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's kind of good because we got more usage out of our first aid kit than we would have otherwise. Let's leave him off there. And then we have the top two left chests to go through. And then, I mean, we do still have that one inventory slot. I know that we left behind a kind of slightly less durable pistol in one of the chests. Um, we might need to just leave that left behind. I, I'm not trying to freaking go on an Easter egg hunt in the middle of this raid, okay? We got so much good stuff. We only spent two C4 on this. And, uh, dude, there's always a chance that there's a floppy disk, but I don't know. Maybe we didn't break into the floppy disk room. Honestly, I don't care. That room filled to the brim with quality loot. I'm game with that. Quinton, thank you for providing me all of this stuff. I will make sure to do good things with it, like go on more raids best thing imaginable 
Uh, but all right, all the chests are broken other than that. Let's see what's in the top left, too. We got some sprangs. We got absolutely nothing. So we still got a little bit of time before it catches up to us. Hey, we got that. And hey, big one, how you doing? Oh, you didn't come fast enough. You didn't hear the news? Okay, nothing in there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's not die at the hands of them. <laughs> let's get the hell out of Dodge. And let's call it a raid there. Big one, thank you for participating, unfortunately. You simply want you, you weren't ready. You weren't ready, big man on campus. Ooh, a horde attack's about to happen too. Why don't we go ahead and drive on over really quickly? Drop off the goods as tempting as that airdrop is. Uh, mm, yeah, mm. Honestly, the thing with airdrops, and I I don't just want to keep on using fuel. I just want to use this fuel so we can get back home to safety. As the airdrop, it's not within running distance. So for now. I'll just leave you there, but the thing is, too, airdrops happen so freaking often, dude. Like, we see them a couple of times every episode, without a doubt, and I I just want to bask in the glory of the contents of this raid. Oh, yeah, and it was a revenge raid, dude! You know what that means. We don't need to give away a single freaking cent. These guys have another raid in store for us, but right now, we got a... <laughs> We got a whole ton of organizing we got to do. We have come home a lot richer than we left it. Dude, even a couple of these trunks, the aluminum, the red tickets, the stuff, dude. Oh, my God. We still got these five steel plates, too. The electronic circuit, the engine parts. All in all, I would say today it came together very well. But with that said, with that, that is going to start wrapping up this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Give the chopper gas tank and join it. The chopper squadron. Best of luck, breeding your pups. Get the true friend perk. Build it up. Yo, base going out on the dopest of raids. Getting your skills leveled up and getting the dopest ones you can. Of that, not to mention finding the best blueprints and building the best attachments you can for the best of guns you got. I can't wait to do that for the new Winchester coming out next up. Update. Make sure you stay tuned, but best of luck going out on those raids, defeating the bosses the game has to throw at you. Hopefully the raids are just as dope as mine were today, getting past the multiplayer wall, and most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fabric fantastic time all throughout. But that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to the next one. See ya.